UC Davis is with us now. Coach Jim Les, Chima Moneki, and Brinton Lamar represent the uh, Aggies. We're going to have Coach Les open up with a statement on this game. Then we'll go to questions for all three gentlemen uh, for UC Davis. Jimmy, please. Well, Chima just asked me for the stat sheet. It, it, it has some tears on it, so it's a little tough to read. Um, I, I, I don't want tonight and the outcome and the score to, to take away from what this group did. Uh, they, they put UC Davis basketball and, and UC Davis on the map nationally, internationally, and they were just a special group. And uh, we just had as emotional a locker room as I've ever been a part of, and I've been a part of a lot of teams. Um, and just we as a staff appreciating all this group gave to us all year and all the things they overcame and how they bonded together and allowed us to push them. And they accomplished some wonder, wonderful feats that I don't want this game to take away. There's only one team in this tournament that goes home happy. Unfortunately, it's not us, but there's a lot to be grateful for. And I'm going to be indebted to this group of Aggies for a long time. They've raised a bar for what UC Davis basketball is going to look like coming forward. Questions start right there. Kevin Askin to be Capital Journal. Coach, you got that technical, and I don't know if it coincided with KU's run or just kind of explain sort of what happened after that. They, the game kind of got away from you guys then. Yeah, it did, and, and, and I, I um, wish I could take back the technical, but, but it happened. Uh, and, um, you know, I, th that, that's a good basketball team. So they, uh, they got it going uh, offensively. I thought they moved the ball really well. I thought, um, you know, we missed some shots. We had some good looks during that run that just didn't go down. And, um, you know, when they get it going, they're, they're awfully impressive. Unfortunately, we weren't able to stem the tide. And I thought that run starting there leading to halftime um, gave them some pretty good separation, unfortunately. Jim, just what, uh, where we could see what led to the technical. I mean, it looked like you said something quickly and walked on the court. It seemed a little. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was quick. Um, you know, it's, it's an intense emotional game. And, um, you know, I, I, the, the call was on the other end, just on a handoff. and. Um, we had quick dialogue with the with the official as, as there was a timeout being called, and he felt it warranted a, a technical. So, is what it is. Right there in the center, right in front of you, Dawn. Chad Cohn on the Sports Exchange for the players. Uh, Josh Jackson had a couple of plays alley oop, and then kind of an up and under layup. They kind of got them going. Did you guys sense after he made those plays that their energy changed? Chima, you first, and then Britton. <clears throat> um, I feel like we had some bad turnovers and some quick shots that led to like runouts. And he made some spectacular plays that were because we didn't lock in on defense. And you're right, yeah, it, it did change the momentum. <laughs> uh, I would have to, you know, agree with Chima. Those plays. You know that he made he it really kind of sparked their their team you know got the crowd going then they fed off that energy and like Chima said you know we turned over the ball a little bit uh, shot a little early shots and that led into you know transition runouts and you know him flying over you know being an athlete he is so uh, we're down here first row Bruce Gallaudet from the Davis Enterprise. Brenton, can, can you tell me, I don't mean to revisit the locker room, but can you tell me what Jim Les and your brethren have meant to you these last four years? Yeah, um, they meant the world to me, you know, just, you know, just being a kid from since I was 18 years old, I remember Coach Les recruiting me. I just told him that, and he said, um, you know, this is your chance to make history if you come to UC Davis. And, you know, we made history. And I, I couldn't be prouder from the coaching staff, all the teammates I played with through here, especially this, this team. You know, this team is 
you know, a very special team to me. You know, we're, we're very close niche, and you know, I love every one of those guys inside the inside the locker room. And you know, I I don't know what other way we can go out. You know, by making the tournament, playing number one team in the country, Kansas. You know, and competing. You know, so you know, we had a great experience, and uh, you know, this team means a lot. I can go on and on, but you know. <laughs> But yeah, I just love everyone on this team, and you know I'm gonna miss it. So I'm not gonna cry though. But yeah, <laughs> miss it. Uh, Coach, can you just uh, discuss what, um, if anything, you were able to draw on your experience from when your time at Bradley, when you upset KU in your game plan or in any in your approach to this to the, to the Yeah, game? Uh, that really didn't didn't have any impact in getting ready for this game, you know, completely different teams. And um, other than the respect I have for Coach Self and the teams and how he coaches and, and the, the, the talent he has and how versatile they are, it, it, it was, was going to be a tough challenge for us. So I, I couldn't be more proud of these guys and this group for their approach. I, I don't think they were taken back by the moment. It was more so giving Kansas credit for how they executed and how they played and how good they are, rather than it's a deterrent from UC Davis and who these guys are. Coach, do you, can you look at this, um, this run, getting to the tournament, and see this as a springboard for better things and bigger things to come? And this also for the players, how do you see this moment propelling the program further now that you, as you uh, look to the future. Chima, you're first, and Brenton is second. We'll finish up with Jim. Um, this year was phenomenal, but next year, everyone's going to come for us in our conference. It's going to be different. We're going to lose a lot of players. Brenton and the other seniors will be gone, and we need people to step up, and we need to rebuild and get back to work. But it was at the end of the day, it was a successful season. I can't imagine a better season for us, but it'll be different next year. Hopefully we can come back and do this again. Uh, yeah, uh, I think this is going to propel us, you know. Um, I know the team next year, they're going to be driven. You know, they're very hungry. Uh, they're going to have some, uh, they're going to have a chip on their shoulder to get back here. And, you know, we've got players leading the way like Chima and, you know, Siler and everybody. And, you know, I'm excited to see what they're going to do next year. And I definitely know that they're going to uh, bring that competitive spirit. You know, it's not going to be the same, you know, us losing a lot of seniors and stuff like that. But uh, I know guys on this team, they're going to step up, get better, and, you know, want to get back in this, you know, tournament. And, and like Coach said, you know, we kind of, you know, set the bar high. And, and um, this, is, this is the expectation, you know, to come back here again every, every single year. So um, I know they're going to get there, so I've, I, I have no doubt. Well, I, I have um, th th this group of seniors was truly special, uh, special not only in what they accomplished, but special in their approach every day, uh, their work ethic, their willingness to do the extra, their willingness to be pushed and coached, their willingness to lead. Um, and that's not just on the basketball floor. They, they competed hard in the classroom. They were unbelievable ambassadors for our university. I can't tell you the number of emails and texts and phone calls I got about this group of guys and how they represented uh, in a first class manner our school and our community. So I'm really going to miss. It's going to be hard to replace that group. And as I told them in the locker room, two years ago there was a foundation laid when we won the Big West regular season and now we needed to take the next step and the next step was, was taken this year with this group. And, we're going to get back to work because we want to get back here. Now Chima knows what it takes. Seiler knows what it takes. And they're going to become our leaders going forward. And we're going to reload. And we want to come back with a better seat and a better opportunity. And winning one game won't be enough. And that, that's how you establish you know, a, a program and keep pushing it to move forward. And we've got unbelievable support from our administration, from our chancellor to our athletic director that uh, give us the confidence that we can continue to move forward. 
Anything else for the gentleman from UC Davis? Okay, that is it. Thank you very much. Best of luck. Thank you.